So in this video, we're going to attempt to answer the question, can testosterone injections cause ED? We're also going to talk a little bit more about how testosterone actually can help and enhance erectile dysfunction, but there's a few instances where it can actually worsen or make things worse. And you should be aware of those if you're someone that's using testosterone or testosterone injections. Um, my name is Dr. Taranella. If this is something that interests you, keep watching. We're going to discuss the details. We're all about helping you gain a deeper understanding of your health and what's going on with your body. Hopefully this video gets you a little bit closer towards that aim. I also wanted to point out that sometimes when I'm producing this content, uh, I get a statistic wrong or the name of something wrong, and almost always there's a corresponding blog article on our website, SW Integrated Medicine forward slash blog. You can find it there. Uh, those oftentimes go into a little bit more detail than the um, than the videos do as well. So please uh, check that out if you're interested. And um, it does take you know considerable effort to produce this content. So if you're liking the information, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you do have questions about any of the content, please ask it in the comment section uh, here or on the blog. Uh, that's why I'm producing the information for you to gain that deeper understanding. So ask the questions if you have them. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Let's get into it. So can testosterone cause ED? I think this question is interesting because a lot of uh, people generally assume that more testosterone is going to make their um, make their erections more uh, pronounced and uh, you know basically improve their erectile function. And for the most part, that's true. Uh, so you know when you're low, when your testosterone's low, and you bring it up into a normal range almost always you're going to get more erectile function, but there's some distinct uh, areas where uh, it can actually get worse, and we're going to talk about that. So in previous videos, we talked about how sometimes you can get a paradoxical effect from taking testosterone. Like Generally, it's going to help with anxiety. It's going to help with mood. Um, it can even help with irritability and anger, but in some subsets of folks, you can have the reverse effect. So you think you're, you're in the optimal range, um, and really it's just you know, slightly too much for your system. It's causing more anxiety and more irritability. Um, and that generally has to do with the two issues of estrogen and cortisol. So let's talk about cortisol first. So uh, with regard to erectile dysfunction, uh, the main uh, thing that allows for the uh, penis to get erect has to do with blood flow. So those uh, there's in medical school, we learn uh, two things, uh, point and shoot. So the point part is related to parasympathetic activity and the shoot part is related to sympathetic activity. So the point part, um, if you have uh, so parasympathetic uh, activity is more rest and digest. It's relaxation. It's calming. It's things like this. So if you're not able to get or maintain an erection, it could be that you're, you know, uh, have too much anxiety, worry, and things like this, and cortisol definitely can do that. Sort of raises the threshold or makes sure uh, the time to irritability or anxiety is uh, is smaller. So the th the there's a thinner layer there between, you know, when you feel calm and when you feel. Uh, you know, a little bit uh, on edge or, or anxious or worried. Um, and so, to, you know, the same thing happens when you're way too low, uh, can also do that. But uh, when you're up at the way high end, ends of it, you tend to be producing more cortisol and you can get this kind of effect with uh, um, inability to uh, maintain or initiate an erection. And you see this too, because it's, you know, a lot of times tied in with the psychology. Oh no, I'm worried about the performance and all that. And, you know, there's, uh, there's definitely some psychological things that sort of make it worse. The idea here is uh, too much too much cortisol, too much testosterone can cause an issue. And as I mentioned earlier uh, in the video, generally speaking, you know, more testosterone is going to help your erectile function. But it's those people that are pushing the edges. So the second thing here, which is sort of a different uh, topic, um, is uh, the estrogen. So make sure if you're you know having issues with this, to make sure you're checking your estrogen in the middle uh, of when you're doing your injection. So if you do it on a Monday and you check your estrogen on a Monday, you're really not going to see the peak level. And so you have to make sure you're checking your estrogen in the middle of that cycle. So three to five days after the injection, if you're doing multiple injections, then yeah, sure. Uh, you know, it's probably not as important, but you do want to try and catch the peak of that. Um, if, if you're having ongoing, uh, 
ED and you are taking testosterone. The other thing is higher doses of testosterone mean higher levels of estrogen. Sometimes people, um, you won't be able to see the estrogen uh, as easily if you're doing a standard uh, ELISA estrogen test. So what you want to do is make sure you're getting the ultra sensitive or mass spec liquid chrom chromatography estradiol levels. This is going to give you a clearer understanding of what your actual um, conversion uh, to estradiol is. And of course, with more estradiol, um, you're sort of countering the acts of testosterone that have that um, ability to produce more nitric oxide and dilate the arteries to bring more blood flow to the penis to cause the erection. The estrogen sort of counteracting that. So if you are producing a lot of that estradiol, you're, you're you know, not getting the most benefit out of your testosterone shots um, or whatever form of testosterone you're using. Okay, so that's all I had on can testosterone cause erectile dysfunction or ED. Um, hopefully that answers the question. It definitely can. And uh, there's you know a few things you can do to make sure that's not happening to you. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.